How's it going, YouTube? Check nicotine. I'm going to talk about love and hate and how they are two sides to the same coin. <clears throat> and most don't get it, uh, but ancient philosophers have been talking about it for about as long as time and philosophy goes back. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, um, think of the yin-yang symbol. Within all good, there's a little evil, and with all, all evil, there's a little good. <clears throat> and... They try to preach out that there's, you shouldn't have any hate in your heart, blah, blah, blah. That it should be all love. Well, if they're two sides of the same coin, which is, the coin is you. We all have a little good, a little bad. No one's perfect. That kind of thing. But if you can only use one side, freaking you're completely neglecting half of what you really are and half your strength. One example would be... um the Hulk. <laughs> Hulk angry. Because, let's say Hulk loves his friend. Freaking, you hurt his friend. Hulk's going to hurt you. And it will not be because he loves you. Freaking, yes, he loves his friend. But he hates seeing his friends get hurt. Because, I don't know, I'd say in a cruel world, the one thing you do not want to do is hurt someone that knows that cruelty or you don't, you don't want to hurt someone that's been kind to that person that knows how cruel this world is. Because they can go from the nicest guy you ever meet to looking at jail time real quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because, <coughs> I don't know, I used to hate that I was so weak, so I've gotten stronger, freaking, to look there for the ones I care for. There's a saying, freaking, uh, you don't have to be faster than the bear, just faster than your slowest friend. I'm more of the terms, freaking, if someone's attacking a uh, bear, I may freak out, run. Someone's attacking me and I got some friends. It's like we're having uh, bear meat tonight. Because <laughs> some of the nicest people you may ever meet are not some of the ones you want to mess with. <laughs> I got more than a few. <laughs> They're nice. Give you the shirt off their back. Freaking share a plate of food. You try to mess with them. Steal from them. Freaking they can out shoot me with a handgun at that over 40 yards. But also the thing goes in the um, straight up fist fight. You can go from the average nice looking guy to the. kind of thing I ain't do but the thing is you can't let one side overpower the other too much and it's also how you hate like I said I hate seeing my friends uh, suffer or having a hard time freaking I hate someone having to struggle I don't hate someone because they're, they're, they're just different that's dumb I hate to see pain and suffering but shoot sometimes Man, some people need it inflicted upon them. <clears throat> like, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the Hulk would be a prime example. Freaking whenever. Because uh, the emotion hate goes along with the emotion rage. Because freaking, and it's not just love. You can just straight up rage. Freaking. <clears throat> it's because you hate something. You hate whatever. But it's a balance. Like I said, philosophers all the time, yin and yang, it, it's, you know, back and forth. You can't, you may not even hate somebody, but you can't just keep letting them go around hurting good people kind of thing. If you're at the gym and if you can tap into that, just whatever. Freaking, it helps pump it out. <clears throat> all right. Y'all take it easy, you two.